Two on two. Well, uh, welcome to episode two of uh, my video diary. Now, this uh, I'm the concert chairman from the uh, ex of the um, Cumberland ex service men's club. Now, of the two seals, said. And Labour Club, I'm just having a, a little, a little live, no? I'm on my way out, I'm off to Leeds in, wife's sat in the other room, watching telly, and I just thought I'd uh, give you um, an update, basically, of what's happened. And the first day was a, a success, I think. On Sunday, we had a good day, a good turnout, unfortunately. Uh, the turn we'd booked, uh, dangerous Dougie McMaster and his little sausage people didn't turn up. Well, one of the sausage people turned up, but we couldn't put him on, on his own. Somebody shouted out, just prick him and put him back in the pan. Nobody laughed. Anyway, so we had a bit of bother, well I had a bit of bother with computer because to be honest I'm not brilliant with them, you know, with computers because, what, oh, what the hell, Elsie, Elsie turn that down with it, I'm doing a bit of filming here, oh, jeez, oh, Elsie, Christ old man, I'm filming, I'm filming here, just turn the bloody thing down, that's all. Just turn it down. Give me a minute, will you? I'm letting the members know what goes on here. I'm doing a video diary, love. Good morning, Shamri. Thank you. Oh, hi, Christ you. almighty. Pin it bloody ass. Right. And it definitely says mint on the boxes. Oh. Okay, just a sec. Feel the oh, boxes of mint truffles delivered today. Anyway, as I was saying, <sighs> I'm not brilliant with, with computer. What happened was, every time I put a song on on Sunday, it came up as Ray Charles' I Can't Stop Loving You. Don't know why, but it did. I mean, I weren't too keen on Ray Charles to start with. Couldn't stop with the sight of him at the end of the day, but we all sang along with it, you know, and end, made light of it as you do. But you see with computers you normally don't you have a little um, hamster, uh, mouse, I mean, thing. But with this you don't have that. You have, it's like a little a little pad thing and you sort of run your finger gently over the top. Now that's no good to me because I was brought up on heavy machinery at Crompton Parkinson's um, electric motors in Geisley, West Yorks. And you know, that's what us old people need. We need something we can... So you know your little arrow thing on the screen on a computer? You should have a big wheel on the front of your computer, like I had on my lathe. You know, so you can... And then your little arrow to go that way, then go that way. And instead of having a little clicker thing, you don't know where you are with them, have you clicked it, have you not, you never bloody know. A big red emergency stop type button, bash that bloody thing. Then you'll know, won't you, if you've clicked it or not. That's what you want on there. In my opinion, I mean, that's just, I don't know what you think about computers, but you see, having a computer now, to me, because they never bloody work. It's like having a, a television back in the 60s, they never bloody worked, did they? I mean, I mean, while we're on the, on the subject, I remember, you remember trying to alter the, the television, you had the contrast and the vertical hold on the back of the bloody set. 
That were no good. You couldn't. You try to bloody you crane in your bloody neck to get to have somebody else in the room with you. Say, is that all right? No, you've gone too far. Put it back a bit. No, you've gone too. No. And it never worked. We have the repair man from um, Valences. He was round. He was round in our front room. He saw more of us than he did of his own wife and kids. No, no. I mean, it was. It was tragic in the end because um, my mum ran off with him, you know. My dad was devastated because we never got a decent picture on BBC Two after that. You know. But that's another story.